Lean thinking has been adopted, you'll find more and more in uh, various areas of research compliance. So that's a concept that is based on, you may have heard of it in uh, more in a manufacturing setting or in a private sector. But you'll find more and more hospitals are also implementing those concepts. And they're taken from, uh, well, they really became widespread in their understanding and acceptance through uh, the, uh, a book uh, that talked about how Toyota manufactures their vehicles. And so that started probably about 30 years ago that you started to see that more and more used in the United States. But that lean thinking is something that the concept, whether you're building widgets or whether you're helping to uh, process information uh, in an academic environment, the concepts of what it's trying to do, which is eliminate waste uh, from the process to have the uh, right amount of effort at the right time enable the right outcomes to occur. That concept you can use wherever you are. But those ideas uh, really are about creating an operation where you focus on what your end value is, uh, you f decide what is, what is the most important thing that you're trying to accomplish, that you uh, map out your process, you find where the value is and you preserve that, you remove the areas that are waste so that you can focus on your end result, and then you continuously improve, which is the Kaizen, you may have heard that term, which is a Japanese term, I don't speak Japanese, but because Toyota was where a lot of people learn these ideas from, they use that term. Um, there's also the idea of push versus pull. You do not want to push your inventory onto your customers. You want to be able to have them pull that inventory or what they need when they need it.